Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, April 13th, and this is the BHL pregame sitting in for Jenna Winsenberg. Once again, I'm Jeff Candomo, joined by my good buddy, Michael Yaffe. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. How's it going, Jeff? Uh, it's, the days are starting to run together, Mike. I am pretty <laughs> tired. I, yeah, I had to look at the sheet to remember today was Wednesday, so I'm oh, hanging geez. in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jam-packed show for you as ours, which is why I'm so tired putting these shows together. <laughs> Orlando was actually put on a name to a list of cities that are expected to have a big economic bounce back in 2011. Awesome. <laughs> it better, it better, <laughs> I always better test, help me. I always test run stories with Mike. If I get any kind of a reaction from Mike, I know we may have a good topic. And that one worries <laughs> me a little bit. I don't know if we well, should I, I go just, off with it now. I haven't seen it for myself. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to tell you which website put this on this list. You'll have to listen and where exactly Orlando fares on that list, but there are 10 other cities. It is a list of 11 cities, uh, once again, of cities poised for an economic bounce back. After that, of course, the Wall Street Journal report. Uh, our good friends there always coming to you at just after 6.30. And then uh, from our good buddies at the Wall Street Journal to some not-so-good buddies, the Westboro Baptist Church. Westboro Baptist Church? You remember those guys? Are those the crazy guys that protest funerals and Judges? stuff? Judges? Ding! That's correct. That's actually right. They are the ones that do that. They are your uh, neighborhood scumbags that do do that stuff, who exercise their First Amendment rights and really, really anger a lot of people, undeservedly so. Uh, I don't agree with what they do, but they do have the right to do it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, they have the right to do it. That's the price of a free society. Mm-hmm. I just wish we had the right to uh, punch him in the face. Wow, there you go. I like that. <laughs> uh, the one now, what, now why we're, they're, we're talking about him in the show today? They're actually headed to Central Florida. Like here? You're gonna like have to listen to where Orlando? specifically. Yes, one of these stops will be in Orlando. Another in the Central Florida. But they're on Florida tour area. now. Basically, just, <laughs> they have a traveling just, show. Just everybody upset. Big That's tour what they bus? do. Yeah. Central Baptist tour bus. So we'll bus. tell you when to be on the lookout for uh, those clowns. Uh, moving into the 7 o'clock hour, uh, there was a protest yesterday about the red light cameras. You know That's that big news, Jeff. Oh, did you hit it? He's, he's got a hold of the sound effects wall uh, in our computer system, and he's having all kinds of fun with it. I don't even know what's being sounded. It sounds like... Uh, my guess <laughs> I know. Is, if you my, didn't notice, I played it earlier, yes, my guess and is there was the no reaction at all. Because so <laughs> we don't have headphones. We I didn't think about on, that. So, yeah, we're not... It's early. We're not the this sharpest in tool Jeff? in the <laughs> Breaking news from Michael Yaffe. But I got back, all the good news. Getting back to what to expect on the show today. Uh, moving on, like, once again, in the 7 o'clock hour, uh, there was a protest yesterday regarding the red light cameras. We're going to talk about that. This is what I say to that. <coughs> okay. So, he, so, you, so that means you don't like them. Am I reading <laughs> that correctly? Your use of sound effects. You're speaking through sound effects there, right? Hold on a sec. Okay, hold on. I don't like them. Okay, he does not <laughs> like them, so I was correct when I said that. I, I, I maybe agree with their protest, kind of. I just think we protest everything nowadays. You know, like yeah. on the news, there's like a different protest every day. Okay, Un- understandable. We're protest crazy, cr- protest happy in this society. Just like I just he don't is get sound it. effects crazy today. Yep. Oh, see, I was waiting for it. What? Oh, but okay, uh, applause. And so now it's gonna <laughs> be for 11. Se- oh, actually, you know what? That's not that pot's not up, buddy. Oh. Th- so Dang he's hitting it. ones now that I, we, I, we don't I, even hear. Jeff, I need to be applauded. Hold on. We're waiting. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we're waiting, and they do. At 7.30, a big interview ahead of the Tea Party rally, rally this Friday that Bud is emceeing. Senator Marco Rubio will join us. We're very happy about that. Uh, very excited to have him on the show once again. At 8 o'clock, uh, we'll get a preview of the president's budget speech and long-term spending. Uh, he'll, he'll announce his plans for long, long-term spending cuts. And this in just in about that. Hold on. Mike Mackowitz, so that, that, actually, that sounder actually <laughs> works perfectly right there. And... This just in Obama's budget cuts or Obama's budget will probably raise taxes. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. He is. That is something. I know you're all shocked released. out there. You're yeah. all shocked. You can't believe it. He promised to lower taxes and he's raising them. Yeah, that's, that's pretty I crazy. Uh, I mean, well, not crazy. It's pretty understandable actually. That should get us into some good budget debate. And then at 8:30, uh, Fox News' Alistair Wanklin will join us. 
Uh, we'll get a look at the uh, radiation news from Japan, which is not good. No, uh, earlier not. this week, it has been upgraded to Chernobyl levels, so that is not good. We'll get the latest, though, from Alistair. And then finally, we're going to wrap up the show with some more Donald Trump news. He continues to be in the news all the time. Uh, this one now, <clears throat> the latest reason he's in there is the Wall Street Journal actually has a story and a, and a scenario of how he may be the reason pr uh, President Barack Obama gets reelected. I'm not going to explain Trump? the scenario. Yeah, Donald Trump could be the reason. All right, right now, obviously, uh, the president's most vocal opponent on almost everything. Why? Just because they hate Donald Trump so much? No, you'll have to listen. I'm not going to explain the scenario here on the pregame. You're going to have to listen. Uh, but it's like pretty this. interesting, and it actually makes some sense. We're going to have to see exactly, you know, whether or not it's going to come to fruition. I, I but can't. on paper, I can see that definitely happening. You're just going to have to listen, though. But it's three hours away. I need to know now. Nope. That's, nope. nope. We, the pregame has done its job. We have <laughs> wanted Mike to listen, and that's good because Mike's going to be working on the show. So he, he, oh, he wants to listen. In. I'm working on the show today. <laughs> <laughs> he was well, he was thinking about that one. That one took a while. But that will wrap things up for the pregame. Once again, a jam-packed show for you. We hope you do join us beginning at 6 a.m. for the pregame. There it is. <laughs> this is our last uh, pregame this week. Jenna will be back tomorrow taking care of the pregame duties. And uh, once again, we hope you guys join us beginning at 6 for the Bud Man, myself, and Michael Yappy. Oh, I played the wrong applause that time again. <laughs> Man, I'm going to be fired. <laughs> You're going to have to practice. There we go. There's the <laughs> applause. <laughs> I'm wait for this <laughs> yeah, I'll just push the pause one. There we go. There, there you go. I brought so the once plot. again, for Bud, Jeff, I'm Jeff. This is Mike, and this has That's been me. the PHL, uh, the BHL pregame right here on 540 WFLA.